Hi friends, today's lesson is very interesting because in today's lesson we will understand how you can better talk about your opinions. There are various situations in life, I would say multiple situations every single day when you have to express your opinions, when you have to give your opinions. Sometimes people ask and sometimes we just give our opinions without people asking us. This is what today's lesson is about. How you can better talk about your opinions and stop using the word I think for that matter. My name is Radhan. I welcome you all to today's session. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to be looking at some word, some sentences on this slide. As you can see, in all of these sentences, we have I think written in them. We will understand why that particular I think is not suitable in that sentence and what can be a better replacement for that. Like this, we have 15 sentences in total. So stick around because a lot of interesting things are coming up. Let's get started with the first sentence. The first sentence is, I think you should take this job. Possibly the person that you're suggesting has been uh, unemployed for a long time. So we cut I think and we say, I believe you should take this job. The person is basically expressing his or her opinion in a little more stronger manner. The person is not just thinking about it. The person is 100% sure that you should take this job. And so for 100% surety, we say, I believe. We do not say, I think. We say, I believe. You got that right. Let's move to the next sentence. Please read that sentence with me. I want you to think about it. Well, a lot of times when you're talking to somebody, possibly you are not sure. So the other person suggests you, I want you to think about it. Think in this case isn't as professional a word. We're going to be cutting it here. Let's see what's the better replacement. I want you to consider it. Well, there's a grammatical error. A lot of times people end up saying, I want you to consider about it. We don't use about with consider, so we simply say, I want you to consider it, which means uh, a better formal way of saying, please think about it for some time and then take your decision. The next sentence is, I think your ideas are not relevant. Well, it is a bit of a blunt way of saying it. Instead of saying, I think we can say, from my point of view, in terms of the experience that I've had uh, working here, possibly, or the experience of life, I would like to say the rest of the idea. So when you're talking about from your experience, please don't use I think as a blunt expression. You can say from my point of view and the rest of the sentence follows after that. Let's move to the next sentence. I think you should go for blue. You're suggesting somebody what to buy. Instead of saying I think there, we can say if you ask me, you should go for blue. A lot of times you go, uh, shop you go shopping with your friends and your friends ask for your for your opinion in that case you say if you ask me it is one of the advanced sentences that we have and do you know why because it is a conditional sentence it is a first conditional sentence so simply say if you ask me and then the rest of your opinion so this was about the second last sentence on the list the last one is i think make sure you read with me I think we should avoid any discussion that involves religion. A very nice sentence. The person removes I think from here and says, it's my belief that. Well, belief basically means your thought system that you have developed over the years, certain morals that you have developed. So when you're talking about something as sensitive as religion, you end up saying, it's my belief that you should never comment on religion. Like that. So this was about all of these words that you can use, phrases in replacement of I think. Moving on to the next list that we have. We have another five sentences. Let's quickly cover them all. I think you should marry Sarah. Uh, possibly a friend is suggesting to the other. Changes to, I honestly believe that she's the best person for you. Again, instead of saying I think, you're expressing your very honest opinion. You are expressing your surety in that. And you say, I, be, I honestly believe that. Please repeat after me. 
I honestly believe that. The next sentence, I think I don't agree with you. You're expressing disagreement. Again, a very blunt expression, I think. Changes to, in my way of thinking. We say, in my way of thinking. With the way I think, it becomes slightly longer, but it becomes less rude and less blunt. In my way of thinking. And the rest of the sentence. The next one is, I think you should buy a SUV. Now here, as you can see, the person is expressing their opinion. Possibly the person is saying, expressing, suggesting an SUV because the other person is quite muscular and needs to have a big car. In that case, instead of saying, I think, you say, in my point of view. Because you're considering all the perspectives. The person is muscular, will not fit in a, in a small car. The next one is, I think we'll be out of COVID-19 by mid-2021. Fingers crossed. So, I think changes to the way I see things. You're not just saying this off the top of your head. It means just in air. You're saying because how the numbers have gone down. So, basically, you're reading the um, analysis. On the basis of that, now you're expressing your opinion. Avoiding saying, I think, and saying the way I, I see things. The trends that have changed. The next sentence is, I think that's a great choice. Possibly someone has asked you to, uh, about your opinion on uh, their choices. So you're expressing and you're saying that as far as I am concerned. That means that's my personal take on it. Other people might as well not like it. But if you're asking me, as far as I am concerned particularly, the rest of the sentence after that. So this was about the first 10 phrases. Let us now look at the last five in the list. I think the market will crash soon. The crash word here means the market will come down soon. So the person is saying instead of I think, as far as I can tell. Possibly the person is an expert in the field of finances, etc. So the person is expressing the opinion using his experiential knowledge, factual knowledge, etc. The next one is I think they will divorce. Possibly you are, a, you are a close friend in the relationship of two people. And you have seen that it hasn't gone really well. So you're saying... It seems to me that how you have witnessed things in the last couple of months or years, you're now assessing and you're now saying that it seems to me that they will divorce. The next sentence is, I think this music is soothing. Changes to, to my mind. To my mind is one of my favorite phrases in today's lesson. Why? Because a lot of advanced speakers end up using to my mind to casually express their opinion. So when you're casually expressing your opinion, you can say to my mind instead of I think. The next sentence, I think we should switch to digital marketing. Changes to, it's my view that we should switch to digital marketing. Possibly the world is changing and as you can see things, because many of these are overlapping as well, so the context might as well remain same. You've seen how the, how the trends have changed on the basis of that, how you have read things, you're analyzing and you're saying, it's my view that, it's my personal opinion that, and the rest of the sentence. And finally, the last sentence of the list for today uh, is, I think you should try once more. Changes to, as I see it, you should try once more. Probably there's a possibility of the person winning in the competition. So you're saying to the person, as I see it, I think you should try once again because you might win. From my, pers from my perspective, with the, with the angle that I can see the situation, you should try once more. So this was the lesson wherein we understood the better replacements of I think based on the situations that we deal with daily life. For more lessons, make sure that you watch the ones that we have on my right and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next lesson.